بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد وعلى من تبعه بالإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise and thanks is for Allah the Lord of all the world and I ask Allah to send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of judgment. Now this is our fourth sitting with the book, The Three Fundamental Principles and Its Proof by Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. May Allah have peace and blessings and peace and mercy upon him. Now we're on the second principle of the book. Now we dealt in the last sitting the first principle, which is that the slave has knowledge of his Lord, Allah Azawajal. Now tonight we're going to go to the second principle, which is relating to the slave having knowledge of his religion. Now Islam, which is the name of the religion, means to submit oneself totally to the will of Allah in all acts of his worship. He should do this freely and willingly and also disassociates himself or herself from any polytheism or anyone that commits shirk. Islam has three levels. The first level is Islam which means to submit totally to Allah. The second level is Iman, which is a true faith in the heart, speech on the tongue, and actions on the limbs. The third level is Al-Ihsan, which is the perfection of worship. Now, Ihsan is to worship Allah as if you can see Him. And if you are not able to do this, you should know that Allah, the Most High, is watching you. Now each level, ha each level has its proofs and pillars. The first pillar of the, the first pillar of Islam, or the first, the first level, which is Islam, has five pillars. The first pillar is to testify that Allah is one, and He is the only one worthy of worship. And the second of, and the second, which is still the first within the first pillar is to bear with this that Allah has sent Prophet Muhammad and he is his messenger. May peace be peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad. Now the second pillar is to establish the prior. I would just like to take a few seconds to go over these two wordings, establishing the prior. Allah says in the Quran, وَأَقِيمُ الصلاة. If one takes a few seconds to look deep into this word, they'll realize the importance of praying. Whenever you say Allahu Akbar to pray, you should always have it in mind that you are standing in front of the Creator, the one that who has blessed you with his bounties and nurtured you so much. You should always keep this in your mind and in your heart. Allah is above everything. So you establish the prior. The third pillar is paying zakah, the compulsory sadaqah, or the compulsory charity that one has to pay on his wealth. This is about 2.5 of the wealth that you are not using per year. The fourth pillar is fasting. A Muslim should fast in the ninth month of the lunar calendar, which is Ramadan, as we say. The fourth pillar is to do Hajj pilgrimage if he is able to. Now, what's the proof of Islam being the religion in the sight of Allah? It's Allah saying in the in His Quran. In the Dina in the Lahil Islam. Indeed, the religion that is in the sight of Allah is Islam. And also, there's another proof from the Quran. 
And whoever desires other than the Islam as a religion, never he will be successful. And never he will be, it will be accepted from him. And in the hereafter, he will be from amongst the losers, the non-successful. Now this verse is in Surah Al-Ali Imran, verses 85. And the proof for the testimony is the saying of the Most High. شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة وأول العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز العزيز الحكيم سورة آل إمران verses eighteen Allah bears witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Him and Likewise, the angels and people of knowledge bear the witness too. He who maintains justice bear also the witness. None has to be worshipped except Allah, the Most High. Now, what's the meaning of the first testimony? La ilaha illallah. The meaning of the testimony is that none has the right to be truly worshipped except Allah. La ilaha, which is a form of negation, negating all acts of worship to every ilah. Illallah, except Allah. That you worship, except Allah. La ilaha illallah. And Allah has no partners in his kingdom. He is by himself. Wahda. Now, the this is made clear through the explanation of an ayah that's in the Quran too. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لِأَبِيهِ يَا قَوْمِ وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ إِنِّي بَرَاءٌ مِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ فَطَرَ إِلَّا الَّذِي فَطَرَنِي فَإِنَّهُ سَيَهْدِينَ وَجَعَلَهَا كَلِمَةً بَاقِيَةً فِي عَقَبِهِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ When Ibrahim said to his father and his people, Verily, I'm free from all that you have worshipped, except the one that created me. And verily, he will guide me, and he, Allah, made it a word lasting amongst his offsprings, and they and that they may turn back to him in repentance. Now this is in chapter Zukhruf, verses 26 to 28. Also, there's another ayah, verse from the Quran. قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالُوا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهَ وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْئًا وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَقُلْ هَشْهَدُوا بِأَنَّنَا مُسْلِمُونَ This is in Surah Al Imran. Say, O people of the book, come to a word that is just between us, that you, that you, that we should worship Allah and Allah alone, and that we should not associate any partners to Allah, and that none, and that none of us shall take others as Lord besides Allah. Then, if they turn away, say, bear witness that I'm a Muslim, or we are Muslims. The proof for the testimony that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is the saying of Allah in his book. لَقَدَ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِمَا عَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفُ الرَّحِيمٌ Surah Tawbah, verses 100 and 128. There has indeed come to you, O oh, oh, Allah's Messenger, from amongst yourself and, and known to you. It grieves him that you 
should suffer. He is eager and anxious for the guidance of, of you and guidance of those who are astray, and that they should repent and return to the truth, and that he is full of compassion and mercy for the believers. Now, the meaning of the second testimony, Muhammad al-Rasulullah, the meaning of the testimony that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is to obey Muhammad in whatever he has commanded you to do and not to worship Allah except the way that he has ordered you to do it and to keep away from all the things that he has, has forbidden you to do. And also that you should worship Allah only with what he has legislated that you should do. The evidence for this is, is the pillar of Islam. The evidence for the pillar of Islam, the proof for the Prophet, the prior zakah, and the explanation of Tawheed is the saying of Allah. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ حُنَفَاءَ وَيَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةِ They were not commanded except that they should worship Allah alone, making their worship and obedience purely for Him upon the true religion and free from shirk, which is polytheism or any acts of worship to other than Allah and that they should establish the prior and the zakah and that is the straight path and the true religion this is in Surah Al-Bayyinah verses 90 verses 5 and the evidence for fasting is the saying of the Most High Allah Azawajal يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الشِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الشِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ This is in Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 183. Oh, you believe, fasting is prescribed as an obli obligation for you, as it is a, as it is prescribed, as an obligation for those who were before you, so that you may attain taqwa. This is fair. Obedience to Allah and avoidance of whatever He has forbidden. And there's another verse from the Quran. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, Abdurrahman, Nadish, ma gul te kelima. The evidence for Hajj is the saying. Mungkin tahli fada. Shuf akhir thawani hadi khabs thawani. Mungkin tahli fo. Na na gona gul ma gul tel. It's fi jumla al mufroda gul. Gul. Kamas. Gul gul mabtani. Gul mabtani. Okay. Take the gig abdurrahman. أقول كذا وأقول سأوقف and the and the evidence for Hajj is the saying of the Most High Allah Azza wa Jal ولله على الناس حج البيت من استطاع إليه سبيلا ومن كفر فإن الله غني عن العالمين and Hajj to Allah's secret house, sacred house, is an obligation upon those who are able to perform it. And whoever and whosoever refuses and rejects the obligation of Hajj to Allah's house, then Allah has no need for him or any of the creation. And this is in Surah Ali Imran, verses 97.
Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah Please stay tuned in for the, the fifth sitting we'll have in this book. Thank you.